Whether you've seen a tutorial for these ink stampers or not, I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update on these. I refined the edges a little bit better than the actual tutorial shows that I was having a little bit problems with leveling out the the paint on the stamper, so which you could use from either ink or paint. I was using paint for the tutorial. I used the thin sandpaper bit to do the edges of these stampers. I did this one in a separate um, tutorial video for it. I deleted the video clip on accident, so I don't. I was going through my camera and deleting some old clips, and I thought I was pressing the button to pass it, but I ended up deleting the tutorial. So I just wanted to um, do a little bit of update on these, so they still they do work. If you've seen the tutorial or not. Another way you could do these ink stampers is to uh, use cork from a bottle and use um, that foam poster board, which is like this. Like you cut out a section of it that you'd want to use for uh, your design. And you could do that also for inks. So for the star stamper that I deleted the tutorial for, I used the sanding bit around the edges of the star. What I, was what I should have did for um, the heart and the lightning bolt stampers. Whenever I did these, I just used the um, the original tool, which was you know I don't have my tool up here now, but it was you know just kind of the sandpaper, and I just went around it, and I used the stone bit. Whenever I should have gone along the edges first, but I forgot that you're I'm supposed to go along the edges around everything first with the sander bit because it would create a, a line, an etched line of where I want to be so I don't go too far. That's what happened a little bit with uh, Star as well. It's a little lopsided, but uh, there would also be ones on the reverse side. I'll get those sometime. This one would be a paw, of course, and then music note and an anarchy symbol. If you're interested in doing ink stampers, you could watch the tutorial for that one. It's quick and easy. They're a, lot, a lot of fun to do. You could do all kinds of things. You could uh, use this block as a reference. You could do like whole designs. Like, um, say you want to do something that looks like a icing on the side of a cake. You do that alongside of this too. And then you could have like one giant ink stamper. And then you could do that on the following sides for like other designs like little circles, big and small circles for patterns, for like borders around artwork or um, cards, holiday cards, whatever. You can do like Christmas trees. Practically do it, um, almost anything as long as you um, go slow with it. For the tutorials I went fast because I was trying to keep up on time or uh, try to keep the time limited. Uh, I'll be making some object things out of wood here soon, shortly. It'll be a while before I get some of them out, and I get some more updates coming on the way.